3DJUMB and welcome back to another episode of Press to Press X. And as part of this Geek Say Chic for Joke Pad and Me, I am reviewing dun 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 the Uncharted collection from Muster Brand. In that collection there are various items, so what I'm going to do is go through them and I'm going to layer up as I go along. You may have already recognised this t-shirt from episode two where I reviewed Gozu Styles um, Looking great t-shirt. This time I've worked out how I can actually get it to display it not mirrored so I can show you it again and hopefully it will look a bit better than last time. So if you've seen the previous episode you know what it looks like. Lovely print of Nathan Drake swinging across um, a map uh, with some beautiful detailing, exceptionally soft cotton um, and on the back if I turn around you can see the back of him and you should be able to see the Uncharted logo and copyright information at the back of it. Hope that's all clear. I've kind of talked about Gozu before. I really like their tees. They're lovely. This is a really, really different Uncharted t-shirt. So that's the first one out of the way. So let's move on to the second one. So the second item is the Artifact long sleeve. So before I put it on, I just want to draw your attention to something which stupid. If you look, there's a Uncharted label in there. If I can get it close enough, you might just be able to make out that collection spelt wrong. How the hell did that get through QA? I know it's nitpicky. It's quite a nice little um, logo in it, but that's stupid. That should never have happened. So let's put it on and see what it's like then, shall we? It's a nice cotton. It's quite thick, actually. Um, a lot thicker than I was expecting. Cotton long sleeve, so it's a good size. I order all of my uh, tees from Muster Brand in large, except the Gozu ones, which, as I've mentioned, I order in extra large. So hopefully you can see. Um, and if you see, there is the print on the centre, which is kind of like a distressed look to it, in like red and navy. It's got a snake at the bottom. And this actually appears on the beer bottle of the Madagascan beer that is drunk with an Uncharted 4. Hopefully I should cut in a little bit now showing um, Nate and Sam drinking one man. of these beers. It's, man, it's, it's very, very subtle. There's, there's, unless you were paying attention, there is no way you would know that this is from Uncharted, Uncharted 4. Um, but obviously if you do, you do. Other things worth noting, there's like a a stitching around the sleeves. The left sleeve has an extra bit of fabric which serves absolutely no purpose. I've got no idea why it's there. Um, there isn't one on the other side. Odd little detail. Fair enough. Um, quite a good collar on it. Um, as I said it's quite a good, good fit. It's quite long so it's quite a good layer for, for underneath. Nothing on the back. I'll just turn around so you can see. Um, there's a, a nice little Muster Brand logo there that's just like a little stitch bit of fabric. That's that's the Artifact long sleeve, which I do really like, so it's certainly one worth considering. So the next one we're going to look at is the Liberty hoodie, which is a navy hoodie. Thankfully, this one appears to have spelled collection correctly, which is good. Um, I'll get this popped on and you can kind of have a look and I'll talk about a bit about it. It's actually a really really good hoodie. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to still get one though because I think I got the last one from their European store just before Christmas. You may be able to get it on Amazon, you may be able to get it from the American Muster Brand. Um, there. So that's the, the hoodie. It's got a, a nice long zip with a tag at the bottom for, for zipping with. The zip feels very, very similar and looks very similar to the one that's on my Arno coat. The thickness and everything. Notice there's some nice kind of detailing down the centre. Um, it's actually quite a big hoodie. I don't know if you can see arms wise. There's quite a lot of room in it, which is quite nice. You can get a couple of layers underneath it. Um, you may notice that there's Try daggers on there with little what look like hourglasses and a pointer. That's quite a nice touch. It's navy and the print's dark. It's 
it's very very dark what you may also see is those eyelets here and if I just pull these through if I can these are the drawstrings for the hood which are a bit different they look a bit like sailor's cord with uh, what looks like the um, tar endings but it's like a fur leather so that's quite nice um, little eyelets to tuck them out of the way one of my biggest gripes on hoodies is drawstrings are a pain in the ass when you've got them to the length you want they're always dangling around and getting in your way whereas this kind of keeps them nicely tucked out of the way and inside so if it's zipped up completely out of the way if you open it this is the other thing the zips a bit sticky so I'm gonna spend 10 minutes trying to actually unzip this damn thing that's a bit annoying there we go so you can see they just sit in the lining it's very very soft it's quite heavy it's quite a heavy hoodie um, hood on it itself which I will put up continues the theme of the cord have a look it's actually a two ply hood so it's made of two pieces of material um, together which is quite nice that adds a bit of extra warmth um, sits hits it quite low on your head uh, again if you notice in the center where the drawstring is that rope is visible through the top so you can see it there what I'll do is I'll show you the back because there's quite a nice print on the back um, so hopefully that will come out okay so as you can see, there's the um, Libertaria logo on the, the back with the skull and then the wedge around it. So the hoodie has two nice uh, pockets, quite deep, like kangaroo pockets, with more like patches on the front that fit quite deep to keep your hands warm. And there's um, a little muscle band button there on the opposite side it's actually just a little empty eyelet so the hood drops back quite nicely it's a lovely lovely hoodie and um, we'll look at the next one now i think and the final piece of wearable apparel is the um, utopia jacket which i really like absolutely fantastic jacket again hopefully that'll come out and you can see it there's a nice patch in there spelt correctly again which is good there's also a little hook for hanging it up and your muscle brand tag there to show that it's official and the size details on it and where it's made and um, this is made in China um, it's kind of a, a waxed coating I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna talk through it a bit more let's get my hood out of the way sits over the back yeah that's fine so it's actually quite a short jacket I don't know if you can see but it comes to my waist so it's quite a, a narrow fit and uh, what I might do is actually stand up and show this off that's a bit but yeah you can see it kind of sits to that point um, nice zip it out so you see the lining there's like a check um, and there's a nice nice pocket on the inside of there as well which is a good size that's a nice zip pocket no pocket on this side but it doesn't really need one given there's extra pockets on the front so let's zip it up and kind of talk a little bit more about it so good heavy duty zip that will go all the way if you choose to the top and then there's poppers that will fasten it all the way down so it gives it quite a, a sleek look I generally don't do it right up to the top especially when I'm wearing a hoodie um, so I tend to leave it a bit open showing a little bit of the showing a little bit of the pattern off uh, pocket wise there's two pockets on the, the front here they are actually quite small which is a bit strange they they're big enough for my hands not really big enough for much else and they do have little poppers that you can keep them fastened with which is quite good so it keeps them closed on the chest there are two 
patch pockets on the chest which have pleats in them to give you a bit of extra room. Good enough size to be able to stick keys and things. The material itself is um, cotton and it's kind of got a waxed coating on it so it does make it waterproof and actually quite windproof. It's quite a thin jacket so I'd say more for autumn, more for um, spring. I've bought this for spring because it'll be here soon enough and it'll be ideal for me wandering around. There are these strange little zips on the sleeve which you can use to widen your cuffs which is quite nice. Um, I've not got ridiculously wide wrists so I don't need to have them undone and that gives it quite a narrowing feeling on both sides. Bit of a criticism, the zips don't catch. They don't like lock down so as you're walking around jangle 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 jangle. Possibility of getting caught on things. Um, not had any major issues with them but hey that that is a possibility. So if you notice hopefully I can get this on the camera there's like little detailing on the pockets there's like these little ringlets in there um, which add just like a little bit of detail into the jacket uh, for me the jacket does look a hell of a lot like um, the jacket that Nathan Drake wears when he visits Scotland it's got very very similar it's not it's not identical but it's very very similar so you can see where that's kind of sitting. So this is the, the length of the hoodie, which is quite big. Um, I'll always have to tip that out of the way just so you can kind of get an idea. So as line wise, it literally lines up with your belt. So you've got this, this edging around here. So with these brown trousers, that works really well with these brown jeans. On the sides, you have poppers that you can adjust the width on. Um, I'm not exceptionally large, so I've put them onto the smaller one just to kind of give it that sleek, neat, fitted look. Um, show off the back, there's not really anything amazing to show off on the back. There is a Instagram button just there, hopefully you can see that. I'm very, very happy with this jacket. It's a good fit, nice and snug, it's a good layer. So definitely autumn, autumn springtime really. Uh, not really thick enough for winter unless you're really going to bulk up underneath it stick hat and scarf on um, and some good gloves but it'll keep you dry in a bit of a downpour uh, no hood but obviously you've got the the hood from the uh, Liberty the Liberty hood so you could always wear that up so it looks it looks good I think it's a really really stylish jacket and a good price as well so I have one more thing to show and then I've got a bonus item. So let's have a look at that next. Right, so the uh, final piece of apparel that I've picked up from the recent Uncharted 4 collection is the Conservator. If I can get it the right way around, I've got the Conservator travel bag, which is really, really nice. Uh, you see the the detailing on the front showing the, the Libertaria um, logo uh, with the quote around it. It's got a nice carry handle, it's quite sturdy. It's actually a good size travel bag. Um, I'm going to be using mine fairly soon so it's actually got some stuff in it. So space wise you should be able to see there's a lot of room in there. Um, what you may be able to see is that there's, if I can hold that out of the way, you may be able to see that there's couple of pockets on the sides so that's quite nice it's big enough to fit quite a few um, games in if you wanted to use it for carrying games and control pads uh, I can easily fit my Vita and headphones in and a couple of games so it's actually really nice um, I haven't removed the tag so just to kind of show you the uh, muster brand tag uh, I haven't removed it yet and again to show that it's licensed merchandise you can see the official logo on there so that's that's really nice so that's the the final piece i have there is actually a, a travel bag that goes with the collection you can use it as a laptop bag there are a couple of nice pouch pockets on the front um, a couple of compartments inside i didn't buy it i didn't have the money at the time to to get it and i've got a horrible feeling it's sold out which is a shame because it'd have been nice to have the entirety of the collection 
So there's one more item I have from Muscle Brand that Uncharted is actually. And the bonus item I want to talk about is the Uncharted shirt, which was from their previous collection. So hopefully that should come out and you can see. Again, collection is actually spelled right. Nice patch, nice fabric patch. Um, on the back, you find it says, let's put this on and you can kind of see what the, the fit's like. Uh, I, as I said, I've had this a couple of years. Um, I bought it just before all of their collection, old collection sold out. I missed out on a nice long sleeve, um, very similar to the one that I showed in the last episode of um, Bristol Press X. Um, and this one is, is the one I wear a hell of a lot, really. It's actually a really thick cotton. I wasn't expecting it to be quite thick. I was thinking it was going to be quite a thin um, shirt, almost like a dress shirt. This isn't. It's certainly a lot more casual, a lot more uh, thick, and a lot better for for autumn winter uh, because of layers. So there you go. This one has a couple of pockets on the front which have poppers on, so you can keep them sealed. They're a good size as well, so you can kind of keep bits and bobs in them. They add a good colour. The colour on it is kind of a almost an olive colour. Um, matches the jacket well, which is very much a, an olive green. So if I go, so you've got the check on the inside of the Uncharted coat. And I can show you what it looks like with the coat on. So you can see it's actually a really, really good match for it. It's a good complementary piece. Um, sadly you can't get it anymore you may be able to find one on ebay if you have a rummage around they may well bring it back i kind of hope muscle brand do because it was a, a really lovely shirt um, and i picked it up at a decent price so that's that um that's my review of the uncharted 4 collection from muscle brand hopefully you've enjoyed this um i'll be back with another episode of dress to press x for this geek say chic on joe pad and me um, in the near future so watch out for that i've got some more cosplays coming up um and maybe a few more showcases so hopefully you've enjoyed that feel free to go and check out musterbrand.com um you'll be able to pick up some of these items hopefully and i will catch you again i've been at bdjmb you can find me on instagram under that or on twitter um like and subscribe you know the deal when it comes to youtube videos if you don't like it it's fine don't worry um Hopefully I'll have something for you in a future episode that you'll enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye.